Olushe Gumban Boshe Esquire, National Coordinator Concerned Advocate for Good Governance, says he should give up the agitation for the sovereign kingdom of Biafra if given the mandate. Bangboshe cited that the agitation dated again to 1967 in the course of the Biafran combat is nonetheless very a lot alive and shaking the basis of the country. According to the lawyer, the struggle which is now being spearheaded by using Namde Kano led indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, is official being that the crew is crying out over marginalization. He cited that the agitation is a product of injustice, illegality, insecurity, horrific governance, repression and dictatorship, including that it is no longer out of location if these anomalies are widespread in the society. Speaking with us on Tuesday, the criminal petitioner referred to that in 2015, the All Progressive Congress APC and President Muhammad Buhari agitated for a change, including that they felt that the authorities of Gulag Jonathan used to be no longer properly adequate and protested, and the change came. Buhari received the election. Mandela agitated for the independence of South Africa. He received it. Recently, Buhari's kinsmen agitated primarily based on the insecurity confronting them in Daura, Bangbushi noted. In essence, agitation is professional when there is a correct cause. As a citizen of Nigeria, I have continually stated that I was born, I was once born a Nigerian and I will be proud to die as a Nigerian. The reality states that the Igbos are now not getting the high quality from Nigeria and it's reputable for them to agitate for higher treatment. However, secession have, have to be out of it. We need to now not permit our diversities, difficulties and variations destabilize our unity. Our team spirit must be sacred and sacrosanct. The Igbos need to no longer be dealt with as second type residents of Nigeria. The civil conflict must be bygone must be a bygone difficulty for now. It's apparent that the place there is, there is repression, there will be a revolt. However, rebel have to no longer lead to secession. I absolutely trust that what Kanu needs for the Igbos ought to be higher life, now not secession. Igbos are now not bent on are now not bent on secession. However, equality and fairness in the scheme of things. What's precise for the goose is correct for the Ganda. As president, I believe agitation for Biafra can stop in six months. The federal government needs to do extra to make existence better. I detest tribalism due to the fact that it is my faith that I by no means made a desire of the place to come from. My creator would have created me a northerner. Igbo, Ijo, man, or any different tribe. I will continually help the Igbos for higher participation in the scheme of Igbos, in the scheme of things. However, on one Nigeria I stand. I will by no means guide any shape of secession. Even Odudua Republic, let's stay one indivisible country. Okay. Okay, everyone is entitled to his or her opinion. Uh, if uh, the lawyer, Bang Bushi, is looking for one Nigeria, the question is that for how long are we going to be talking of one Nigeria? Because if everything is okay, nobody's going to be talking about uh, one Nigeria. It will just be the normal thing. It will just be everybody will just fall in line. Nobody will be talking of agitation. Nobody, you will not even remember that. Uh, Ah, of course, you know that you are in Nigeria, you are in Nigeria, and you are a Nigerian. You will not even be bothering yourself because you know that that is your place. Everything is working well. Of course, in even all those other countries that are that maybe they are not even agitating for anything, we think that everything is rosy there. They still have a, a challenges here and there. But in this kind of place that everybody is talking about, those who believe in one Nigeria, then what are the things to be done? For everybody to be included, for everybody not to feel marginalized. We are not even talking the marginalization they are talking. Everybody is marginalized. Because the, the whole thing now is between the politicians, the so-called leaders, and the masses, the general public. That is where the marginalization is coming from. The politicians, 
not even the elite. We are talking of politicians because the elite who are not uh, who are not politicians, they are being man marginalized. Everybody is being marginalized. That is where the problem is. And we don't even understand ourselves. And religion and uh, what have you, uh, uh, tribalism, you know, they've come into the system. They, they are now being used as very strong tool to continue in this marginalization. And that is why the Biafrans are saying they want to go their separate way because this is not the first time. No, it's not even because of this, because of what has been on ground. And the same thing, you know, when you check about a uh, check all these uh, uh, black Americans too, why they are they, there's this strong uh, 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 protest in the US. It's not because of the incidents that, re that recently happened, but because of a long time marginalization or whatever or racism, whatever they've been going through. And they'll be talking over and over again over the years, how many years, and nothing has happened. So this time around, they just want to use this uh, incident that just happened recently as a statement, and that's why they don't want to. They don't want to back down. Some people are like, "Oh, these people are just taking some things too far." The same thing is happening in Nigeria. The same thing is happening in Nigeria from one government to another, from one government to another. Keep promising, keep saying the same thing, and like I always say, these people, a lot of them are on the. What, uh, on the on the waiting list to enter and they they will begin to do whatever they want to do and uh, the, the funniest thing is that the so called people who are marginal while marginalizing marginalizing ourselves the so called people who are doing all of this is they are from this we are from the same place then what is the problem what is the problem so if you are talking about one Nigeria it's not just to say it that oh one Nigeria you all know himself he knows that things are not working well and like I always say Forget about uh, talking about Biafra or not Biafra. You that you are not Biafra, can you can you boast that you are happy? You say you are you 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 are born Nigeria, you are going to die Nigeria. Is that the way the country is? Is that how the country are supposed to uh, 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 be operating? A lot of a lot of a lot of rubbish going on, nonsense going on. Talking about rubbish and nonsense. Do you know people are going in for it? People are dying in poverty. Some people will tell you that uh, the poverty alone is killing more than even the Boko, the s men the, uh, the COVID-19 put together. Suffering. People are suffering. People are suffering. Even the ones that are not suffering, you, or you think that you are not suffering, with the environment, the Nigerian environment is suffering alone. You cannot even relate that. Even the so-called people who think that uh, they've segregated themselves, they have a, they are staying in one kind of estate or in one kind of this thing. Tell me whether that is where they are going to stay forever. They will not come out of the, come into the town, or they don't know what is happening. You will go back and, I definitely you see come back to the people, the areas you think that uh, you are not even, you are not going to be staying in that area. Once you come down to that area, it's unfortunate. Any little thing, they have, they have, they've gone abroad. The question they don't ask themselves is that, why is it that the other people, they know, we don't even need to be asking them, why is it that, where, where you run to, why is it that the same thing is not, you know, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not the same thing, it's not, uh, 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 those people are not coming to your country, why is it that such thing is not happening, and they will, before you know, they will just be feeling big, let's even leave uh, all of those Let's leave all of those. So if you are talking about one Nigeria, if you believe in one Nigeria, the, the lawyer, if you believe in one Nigeria, the uh, lawyer, Bang Boshe, uh, Shegu, if you believe in one Nigeria, tell us what will make us to achieve that one Nigeria. It is not just telling people to say, oh, uh, secession is out, of, is out of it. That is your own. You are entitled to your opinion. If you want to be in Nigeria, good and fine. Those who want to leave, I don't even know whether, if they leave, what's, what, what effect is it going to have on Nigeria, if they be France, if they live, how is it going to affect you? I don't know. If it's not going to affect you, why why do you want them to be together? Why do you want, to, want them to see be in Nigeria? Ah. Well, let's hear what people are saying. This uh, issue of uh, everybody just coming to try to tell these people. And you are not doing what will make things to be okay. If your place is good, a lot of people who are running abroad, running to other countries, nobody invited them, nobody tells them to come. But they just believe that that place is okay for them. If Nigeria is okay, that is how it's going to be. Someone said, I know some people will abuse the man. It is in their blood. No one satisfies them. <laughs> I don't understand. 
why you want people to stay. If you feel like you like Nigeria, stay there. Don't disturb other people. That is what me I hate. I so much hate it. If you know that you are you are enjoying a place, you like it, nobody is telling you to come out. You stay there. Because you guys know that things are not working. These are the people that they will know they know that things are not working out. Too. But when people say they don't want to be a part of that that is not working out, they will start saying something. Because these are the things that infuriate a lot of people. You want to stay there, good and fine. Nobody is dragging you that you must join us, you must be part of this this whole thing. But they said they want it. If they leave Nigeria, how is it going to affect Nigeria? I don't know. That is to tell you maybe there's there's something they have you think that you know. Or you, it's just for us to just be making numbers because they will tell you, oh, there is there is benefits, there is this and that in our population. It's just to be adding to the number at, at the detriment of the larger society. Few individuals, those are the people enjoying what they call one Nigeria. Those who are with a higher block, who are working in NMPC, those who are getting appointments from places to places, those are the people that will be telling you that Nigeria is, is good or we have some people that have already made agreement with suffer. You know, the suffering is their is in their is in their DNA. They want to suffer, so it's it's no it's not a big deal. If you say somebody is suffering, they will tell you what is the big deal in suffering. So there are some categories of people like that. Good and fine. Nobody is disputing that. Nobody is disturbing you not to enjoy that suffering. If you like it, good and fine. But don't disturb other people. L leave and let's let's leave. Okay, this is a good idea, but it came late. Sorry, brother. God bless you. Like you want to die by thunder, an oppressive system can never afford you a chance to even score in Nigeria. As you hear people like Bodeju uh, saying Nigeria belongs to the Fulani, and so they can kill whomsoever they want, and that's and that they will rule this country for as long as they choose. Hmm. Watch your back. As someone says, a yeah, good man suggestion. That's a good suggestion. It's a good suggestion, but let's ask what we make Nigeria uh, uh, to be better. Because the people who are there now, they don't want it to be better. The way it's it's going, is going. The way Nigeria is going, they love it because they are benefiting from it. They don't care whether others are suffering. So that is why they don't even care, and they don't even want things to change. Because as soon as 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 soon as Things change. I, it's not even going to affect them. It's just greed and wickedness. That's just the way I see it. It's just mere greed. So guys, let's hear your opinion concerning what Bang Bushi has said. Leave your comments below in the comment section. Respectfully. Thank you.